Did you know that your consciousness is not limited to your brain? That's right, your mind can transcend your physical body. Imagine you are in a dark room. Suddenly, a light begins to shine, revealing what is around you. This light represents our consciousness. But is this light limited to what our eyes can see? What if reality were much more complex than what we perceive? Since ancient times, philosophers, scientists and mystics have questioned the true nature of consciousness. Is it confined to the physical limits of our body, or does it go beyond? When we talk about consciousness, we refer to that spark that makes us perceive, feel and understand the world around us. It is something that makes us unique, that gives us identity and meaning. Consciousness is essential for our existence. Think of consciousness as a vast and deep ocean. The body is just the surface of this ocean. This idea challenges our perception of reality, inviting us to think beyond what is visible. What exactly is this mysterious force that makes us feel alive? Consciousness is the ability to experience and be aware of our thoughts, emotions, sensations and the environment around us. But this simple definition does not capture all the complexity and depth of the concept. Different perspectives offer us varied interpretations. Philosophers like René Descartes argued that consciousness is proof of our existence. I think, therefore, I am. For Descartes, consciousness is the essence of being. Immanuel Kant, another influential philosopher, saw consciousness as a stage where thoughts and experiences unfold. Science, in turn, tries to map consciousness to the brain. Neuroscientists study how networks of neurons and chemical processes create our conscious experience. They identify areas of the brain that activate when we are conscious and try to understand how these areas interact to form our perception of reality. However, some spiritual thought currents suggest something different. They tell us that consciousness is not confined to the brain or the body. In many spiritual traditions, Consciousness is seen as something that transcends matter. It is believed to exist independently of the physical body, connecting us to a broader and more universal reality. One example is the idea of the Akashic field, mentioned in various esoteric traditions. This field is described as an eternal record of all information in the universe, accessible through consciousness. This concept suggests that our mind can connect with a higher intelligence going beyond physical limits. This diversity of perspectives raises a question. Is consciousness really limited to our brain, or can it exist independently? Many accounts of near-death experiences, deep meditations, and altered states of consciousness suggest that our mind can expand beyond the body. Imagine, for example, the sensation of being lost in a deep thought or in a deep meditation where the body seems to disappear and only pure consciousness remains. It is as if for a moment we transcend our physical existence, connecting with something greater and deeper. The labels we use to define ourselves can limit our perception of consciousness. Think about how many roles we play throughout life. Student, professional, parent, friend. Each of these roles comes with a set of expectations and characteristics that we often use to identify ourselves. But do these labels really capture the essence of who we are? Or do they merely scratch the surface, obscuring our true nature? It is easy to get lost in the titles and identities that society imposes on us, forgetting that behind all these labels, there is a pure and unaltered consciousness. For example, the way we present ourselves to others. We say our names, talk about our professions, mention where we come from. But do these pieces of information really say something about our true essence? They are just fragments of a broader and more complex identity. Labels can help us navigate the social world, but they can also imprison us. When we identify strongly with a specific role, we risk limiting our perception of ourselves and others. For example, if we define ourselves solely by our profession, we may ignore other valuable aspects of our personality and capabilities. Moreover, these labels are often superficial and mutable. Age, for example, is just a number that indicates how long we have lived in this body, but says nothing about the wisdom, experiences or maturity of our consciousness. Similarly, 
Geographical origin can influence our culture and perspectives, but does not define our true essence. Think of a simple metaphor. Consciousness is like an open and infinite sky. Labels are clouds that pass through this sky, sometimes obscuring our vision but never altering the vastness and beauty of the sky itself. Clouds come and go, change shape and colour, but the sky remains unchanged. Eckhart Tolle, a renowned writer and spiritualist, talks about the importance of detaching from these labels to access a deeper consciousness. He suggests that by freeing ourselves from superficial identities, we can begin to experience life more authentically and fully. Viktor Frankl, a Holocaust survivor and psychotherapist, also wrote about finding meaning beyond external circumstances, revealing the resilience and depth of human consciousness. Reflecting on these ideas leads us to question, who are we really? Are we just the sum of our labels, or is there something deeper and truer behind all these layers? Have you ever stopped to think about how well you really know yourself? Self-awareness is the ability to introspect, to look within and understand our thoughts, emotions and motivations. Imagine consciousness as a light, and self-awareness as the ability to direct this light within ourselves. When we can do this, we discover a complex inner world, often unknown. This practice of looking within is essential to transcend the limitations of the body and the labels we discussed earlier. Eckhart Tolle, one of the greatest contemporary thinkers on spirituality, emphasizes the importance of living in the present and observing our thoughts without identifying with them. He believes that by becoming observers of our own mind, we can find deep peace and a clearer understanding of who we are. Viktor Frankl, in his book, Man's Search for Meaning, explores self-awareness in a striking way. Frankl, a survivor of Nazi concentration camps, observed that those who managed to maintain a sense of purpose and self-awareness were able to withstand the most adverse conditions. For him, self-awareness was the key to finding meaning even in the most desperate situations. When we cultivate self-awareness, we begin to realize that our thoughts and emotions are just a part of us. They are transient, change with time and circumstances. But there is something deeper and constant, our essence, our pure consciousness. Practicing self-awareness can be challenging as it requires courage to confront our shadows and weaknesses. However, it is a powerful path to transcendence. When we truly know ourselves, we can overcome the limitations imposed by the body and mind, connecting with a broader and deeper reality. Let's think of a metaphor. Imagine you are in a dark room full of furniture. Without light, you bump into objects, hurt yourself, and feel lost. But by turning on the light, you see everything clearly, can navigate the space without difficulty. Self-awareness is like this light. It illuminates our interior, allowing us to see clearly and navigate life with more wisdom and understanding. Reflecting on our own lives and experiences can help us understand the importance of self-awareness. What are the moments when we feel most connected to ourselves? What practices help us turn on this inner light? There is a fascinating and profound concept of pure and immutable consciousness. This idea suggests that at the core of our existence, there is a consciousness that remains unchanged, regardless of the experiences and changes we face throughout life. Can you imagine a vast ocean? On the surface, the waves are agitated, moved by wind and currents. But in the depths, the water is calm and serene, undisturbed by the storms above. Our pure consciousness is like these ocean depths, constant, immutable, and always present. Rumi, the great Persian mystic poet, captured this essence in his words. Beyond ideas of right and wrong, there is a field. I will meet you there. This field he speaks of is our pure consciousness, a place beyond the dualities and conflicts of the material world where we find true peace and understanding. Pure consciousness is that part of us that observes everything but is unaffected by anything. It is like an immense blue sky where clouds pass but leave no marks. Our emotions, thoughts and experiences are like the clouds. They come and go but the sky, our consciousness, remains unchanged. 
To illustrate this, think of a window. During the day, the view through the window may change. Sun, rain, snow. However, the window glass remains the same, allowing light and images to pass through it without altering. Our pure consciousness is like this glass, clear, transparent and constant, even when our external life is in constant change. The idea of an immutable consciousness gives us a comforting perspective. No matter how tumultuous our life may be on the surface, we can always find a space of peace and stability within us. This recognition can transform how we face challenges and adversities, providing a solid base of tranquility and clarity. Eckhart Tolle often speaks of the silent observer within us. He encourages us to identify less with our ephemeral thoughts and emotions and more with this immutable consciousness. When we do this, we find a freedom and peace that cannot be shaken by external circumstances. Now that we understand the importance of pure and immutable consciousness, how can we cultivate a deeper connection with it in our daily lives? Practice is essential. There are several ways to strengthen this connection. One of them is meditation. Meditation is one of the most effective practices for accessing pure consciousness. Sitting in silence, observing the breath, and allowing thoughts to pass without clinging to them can help us reach a state of presence and tranquility. Imagine yourself sitting by a calm lake, watching gentle waves form and dissipate. This lake is your mind, and meditation allows you to observe these waves without engaging with them. Another powerful practice is journaling. Writing about our thoughts and emotions can be a way to externalize what is in our mind, allowing us to observe our thought patterns and behaviors more objectively. Journaling acts as a mirror for the soul, reflecting our experiences and helping us better understand our inner self. Reflection breaks throughout the day are also important. In our hectic routine, it is easy to lose connection with our consciousness. Taking a few moments to stop, breathe and simply be present can make a big difference. Think of it as a small reset for your system, a chance to reconnect with that part of you that is constant and immutable. Practicing gratitude is another effective way to cultivate this connection. When we recognize and thank for the good things in our lives, we shift our focus to the positive and open space for greater inner peace. Gratitude helps us see beyond immediate problems and challenges, connecting us to a deeper sense of contentment and well-being. Contact with nature can also be deeply restorative. Walking in a park, strolling on the beach, or simply gazing at the stars at night can remind us of the vastness and beauty of the world around us, helping us feel a deeper connection with our own essence. Nature shows us the harmony and simplicity of life, reflecting the quietness we seek within ourselves. Yoga and other mindful body practices, such as Tai Chi and Qigong, are also excellent for cultivating consciousness. Slow and deliberate movements, combined with conscious breathing, help us integrate body and mind, creating a space of internal balance and harmony. The benefits of these practices are numerous. They help us reduce stress, improve mental clarity, increase emotional resilience, and most importantly, connect us with our true essence. When we are aligned with our pure consciousness, we face life with more calm and confidence, perceiving situations with a broader perspective. Life is full of obstacles, big and small, and our reaction to them can determine our peace and well-being. The pure and immutable consciousness we explored earlier serves as an internal compass, guiding us through life's storms. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman philosopher emperor, left us valuable lessons on how to face challenges. He said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This quote reminds us that obstacles are not just difficulties to be overcome, but also opportunities for growth and learning. Imagine you are sailing in a boat. Suddenly, a storm forms. The immediate reaction may be panic, but an experienced sailor knows that by staying calm and adjusting the sails, they can use the opposing winds to advance. Similarly, when we face challenges, self-awareness allows us to stay calm, assess the situation and make wiser decisions. Self-awareness gives us the clarity to see beyond the immediate problem and understand the larger context. When something goes wrong, instead of reacting impulsively, 
we can ask ourselves, what can I learn from this? Or how can I turn this situation into an opportunity to grow? This type of reflection helps us see challenges as part of our journey of personal and spiritual development. For example, let's say you are facing a problem at work. Instead of being consumed by frustration, use self-awareness to explore your emotions. Why is this problem affecting you so much? Is there a lesson to be learned about patience, communication, or perhaps even about the career you chose? This type of analysis can turn a difficult situation into an enriching experience. Marcus Aurelius also spoke about the importance of focusing on the present. He said, lose the present and you live a life of regret over the past and uncertain hopes for the future. Self-awareness helps us anchor in the present, appreciate the moment and deal with challenges more effectively. Moreover, by practicing self-awareness, we develop emotional resilience. We learn to observe our emotions without being dominated by them. This is especially useful in times of crisis when it is easy to be carried away by anxiety or fear. By keeping a clear and focused mind, we can make more rational and balanced decisions. Let's return to the sailor metaphor. A skilled sailor not only adjusts the sails during the storm, but also uses the compass to stay on course. Self-awareness is this compass, keeping us aligned with our values and goals, even when external circumstances are challenging. Our consciousness not only transcends the body, but is also interconnected with everything around us. This view can further expand our understanding of who we are and how we relate to the universe. Think of the unified field theory in quantum physics. This theory suggests that everything in the universe is interconnected on a fundamental level, where subatomic particles interact in a web of complex relationships. Although this theory is a field of scientific study, it resonates deeply with many spiritual traditions that speak of the unity of all things. In a flowing river, each drop of water is part of a larger whole, moving in harmony with the course of the river. So is our consciousness in relation to the universe. We are not isolated entities, but part of a continuous and interconnected flow of energy and information. The concept of interconnection can be seen in practices like collective meditation or group prayer. Studies have shown that when groups of people meditate or pray together, there is a measurable impact on the atmosphere around them. This suggests that our consciousness has a power that goes beyond our physical body, influencing the environment and people around us. In the field of psychology, Carl Jung introduced the concept of the collective unconscious. He believed that we all share a reservoir of experiences and knowledge that influences our thoughts, behaviours and cultures. This idea leads us to think about the depth of our interconnection, not only with the present, but also with history and past generations. Rumi, the Sufi poet, captured this idea with the mirror metaphor. You are not a drop in the ocean, you are the ocean in a drop. This suggests that each of us contains the totality of the universe within ourselves, reflecting the interconnection of all things. This perception of interconnection can transform how we live and relate. When we understand that everything is interconnected, we begin to see the importance of our actions and thoughts, as they have an impact that goes beyond ourselves. Small acts of kindness, for example, can create waves of positivity that spread throughout our network of connections. Furthermore, this view can help us feel a greater sense of belonging and purpose. Knowing that we are part of a larger whole gives us a sense of connection and importance and can inspire us to live more consciously and responsibly. Subscribe to our channel and check out the video currently playing on the screen.